Ever since I became director, I, I've wanted to expand the conceptualization of what the center is about and its domains. And I think that was one of the reasons I was looking forward to partnering with you because when we would talk about these things, your, your bent was the same way. To think very, you're very open-minded, you're very broad-minded. And, um, you know, I, I resonated with that. I really thought that together we could, uh, along with all of our colleagues, just make the impact and the connections of the center and the school uh, much broader than they have been in the past. Yeah. And Eric has chaired the IRB and is on the campus committee for revamping human subjects uh, policy. Eric has a long history with IES and I asked you uh, to do everything you could to get on any advisory committee in the department That's of right. that you could get on. <laughs> yep. And uh, of course, a long distinguished history in K through 12 quantitative. My portfolio is, uh, I think, ever evolving, but right now what it looks like is um, comprised of five um, main areas of responsibility. One is, um, as Bob mentioned, is t I am the um, primary liaison between WCER and the U.S. Department of Education, and particularly IES. Number two, as, as Bob also mentioned, is um, the, being the primary liaison um, between WCER and the groups across campus that um, work on issues of human subjects protection. And, a third area of responsibility within that within that set is uh, I am I have an open door and am very happy to consult with WCER uh, researchers on uh, their IRB related issues. You've been very generous and open with helping our proposers around the Survey Center, around IRB, around just the many things you're expert on. I've really appreciated that. Yeah. It's, a, it's a real asset. Well, I appreciate hearing that. I am the uh, co-director of the Madison Education Partnership, uh, which is a partnership between WCR and the Madison Public Schools. And I'm a co-director along with Eric Grodsky, who's in sociology here, and uh, Beth Fade, who works at the district. And so we are now in our second year of uh, operation. I am uh, working with uh, working with Bob and, and Jean Schneider on a couple of um, projects about uh, renovating um, different spaces, primarily in educational sciences, um, that are um, that are serving a variety of projects. And, and I think one of the main driving design principles that that group has in mind is really trying to create physical space that fosters um, more collaboration. Um, and in particular, you know, kind of interdisciplinary collaboration to the extent that groups are out there, you know, wanting to do that. There's a lot of interesting work going on that falls outside of the School of Education. And I think some, some of those folks are collaborating with School of Education folks. Some of them are collaborating with, um, with uh, WCER researchers, but not all. And so it's just interesting to, to think about, you know, others on campus that we might work with. Every other college and school on this campus that has undergraduates has major undergraduate research programs. Yeah. And it's not only for those who are going to go on to graduate school, although it's certainly important for that, but it's a fundamental conceptualization of what higher education means. And that knowledge creation is as much a part of being in college as content learning. And so I, I would love to see WCR be out front in that, or the School of Education broadly, but after all, we have a lot of opportunities here.